In my travels, the love and respect, and at times reverence, that total strangers extend, simply because I knew him, is overwhelming. And I know it has little to do with me and everything to do with him. Did Bob love me? I hope so. Did he love me above all others? I don't know. And it doesn't matter anymore. I believe he loved us all in his own way, in his own time, and for many and varied reasons. What matters and what is truly important is that he left us a legacy so rich, so important, that we have been able to love him enough to keep it living. His lyrics, so thought-provoking, they make us want to be the best person we can possibly be our very best self. Keeping the bridge strong, the bridge between uptown and downtown, between black and white, between wife and lover, between children, legitimate and illegitimate, not that it matters. The bridge that has most certainly spanned the political divide time and time again, as the people of this country come together to sing his songs with one voice every year, on February the 6th. As I look at Damien today, I know he is my living bridge, the cables of which are as strong as the locks down his back. A bridge constructed of human endeavor, total commitment and selflessness, the one love bridge. A bridge I have traveled so many times it feels like home to me. A bridge needed today no less than it was 30 odd years ago. Bob will outlive us all, I'm sure of that. And I will be eternally grateful to Jah, Providence, Fate, God Almighty, or whatever power, higher power one looks to. Grateful for stretching that bridge out before me, keeping me on it year after year, as I truly believe that Bob, a natural mystic, showed us that one love is the answer. for the candor, the simple honesty, the purity of the purity of the truth when captured through through a personal narrative carefully and well told. And so, we need to catch our breath. But there are two things I'm going to say to you in, before we go into the audience responses and the questions, the many questions that you have. We're going to have a musical interlude, but I need to say this to you. You mentioned potential, potential authors your advice to potential authors. Next time you give that advice, look in a mirror. You, you, you really need to set the record straight on a wider level. 
and we thank the media for being here. Behind one of the cameras is one of your children's schoolmates, Niall Salter. And we thank you for your work, Niall. We're going to hear from a young artist as we catch our breath. Put your hands together again for Cindy Breaksby before we go into it.